Welcome to another episode of Maz Play. This is Maz Mojito, and today we're going to continue on with Humankind with the second part, uh, picking up right where we left off. Uh, as we were, had our people going around exploring the map, uh, trying to clear a lot of this fog of war, obviously the plan is to turn as much as the northern half yellow, uh, which is my Egyptian uh, group, um, try to get that territory uh, captured. So we're in the way zoomed out view here. Um, and just like we did in the first video, we're going to just continue to have our guys explore and hit in in turn in between just to keep this thing moving. So as usual, I will limit my talking and we will continue to just go through um, the video. We would all benefit from growing closer, don't you think? Hmm, I must ruminate. Yes, I cannot dispute the benefit in that. Death from starvation. It seems that these are the times that try a people's dietary habits. there we go we're starting to build Stonehenge I never thought that Stonehenge would be part of Egypt's uh, um, kingdom but hey whatever I, I get it it's a uh, humankind so it's gonna be a bunch of different historical landmarks and stuff in the game so I'm gonna continue to um, go through and have my guys continue to explore and clear some fog of war and then we're gonna start building more outposts so that we can expand our territory. So I'm not sure what I just unlocked. 
but it looks like that. I unlocked something important, I'm not quite sure. New Era Star 2. Okay. Not sure what that means, but okay. All right, so we're just going to keep it moving. Make sure that we're constantly picking new technologies to research so that every time we hit that end turn, we're either generating soldiers or we're generating new technology. So, so yeah, let's just keep it going. I have a proposition for you. I think you'll like it. Fascinating. Your proposal makes good sense. I say yes. All those of honest intent may have my ear. So it looks like the kingdom of Zhao is really kicking butt. So I'm going to have to step up my game and try to get my expansion going uh, so that I can be on par with them. Even though they are my treaty allies, uh, we can't have them dominating the uh, south part of my territory and encroaching on my land. So that's what I'm going to be working on. We have a whole lot of land that we can capture and make our territory. So, um, great, another era star unlocked. I don't know what that means, but I guess it has something to do with these different tier trophies or whatnot. So, awesome. Whatever that, whatever that does for me, I'm sure it's a good thing. So we're gonna keep it moving. We're going to keep our guys exploring, and once we get closer to the border of my area, we're going to start building some outposts and expand that border of territory control.
uh, attackers. Um, but it looked like there was a bear on our on our tail, but it didn't look like it attacked us, so I think we're safe. just gonna explore the help menu a little bit just uh, to make sure we understand what the different buttons do just kind of quickly go over them before we continue on with our exploration So the bear is gone, so I assume what attacked me was the bear. Even though I lost the guy, but it didn't specifically say I killed a bear. So, okay. So plenty of area here to capture. I assume that we can't cross the water until we build some kind of boat or dock or something like that. Maybe have an outpost on the edge of the water. I'm not sure, but I'm sure we'll figure it out as we keep going. So I'm going to try to make sure I have something being built on all the different white zone areas. So I'm um, just going to try to fill these squares in. I'm not exactly 100% sure what I'm building, but the key is to just make sure something's getting built. Maybe it's converting the land area from a food area to a gear shape area. I'm not really sure.
there's just a lot of a lot of information on the screen guys i'm just kind of like floating around looking at different tool tips it didn't acknowledge because i'm not really sure you know what what's going on with all the messages but i'm just trying to soak it all in and i'm enjoying the uh the background music too it's really peaceful and relaxing as i do all the reading on the different overlays and things to do so but the main mission remains keep exploring the map Follow me. and start building outposts and um figure, figuring this out as we go Okay, by capturing this area, maybe this will allow us to start building a navy. I'm not sure. So that we can kind of cross the the sea and explore the other sides of the land. But anyways, our first out, outpost is down. And as we zoom out, we're going to try to keep expanding our territory area starting from the top down. Off we go! Over this way! So this can be a little bit confusing for me because I'm trying to build more outposts, but it's telling me I can't. So I assume it's because I'm in an area that I already control. Judging by the dotted yellow line, it looks like everything on the other side of that is my territory, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm just going to keep going in the areas that does not look yellow, does not look like it's under my control. There we go. So now, um, adding another outpost there. So maybe that's gonna move my yellow border. Okay, yeah, I see now. As I zoom way out, it's starting to show the area that I'm kinda annexing or taking over. So we want all this uh, northern half to be yellow. And I guess the way to do it is just keep popping down cities and outposts until everything up north is yellow and mine. So we got another empty space over here that we can take. Now it looks like, okay, so we got fishing. We're gonna unlock some new um, technology here. And um, the will sounds interesting. So I think we're selling would be very useful. Masonry, yeah, I think we'll just go ahead and just fill up our first level and then just kind of keep working our way from left to right. Now, one thing I do notice is when I'm building outposts, the main way I'm paying for that is through the stars at the top. I have 617 stars and 517 gold, so I guess that is kind of like the cost of building more out outputs. <laughs> Outposts. Sorry. So yeah, we're just gonna keep keep expanding. That's all all we're what our plan is.
Okay, so I guess the Zhao people have turned into the Maya. Because uh, now I'm starting to butt right up against their border. And Canterbury is kind of off to the left side, so... They're going to be surrounded by my territory here in a minute. I may have to start building up some soldiers and stuff for defense. Once again, the starvation messages, uh, but I'm still trying to figure out the food situation here in the game. So from what I gained, anything that's marked with a green, like barley or oak type symbol that represents food. But um, I still don't know where the food total is for my city. So I'm just kind of figuring that out as I go. And it looks like we just have one small area left to capture and that'll pretty much give us dominance over the north. Starvation? I'm afraid they've already eaten all the bread and the cake and now the pantry seems empty. Yeah, not sure how to stop the starvation messages, but we're going to keep it moving. Does. Why was this even a question? Let's keep it simple. We've been here. It's our place. Hmm, what is this? I've never seen this before. They may have more to offer than just their weapons. Assimilation does seem practical. Notice that uh, people file grievances when you claim territories too close to their border, just like the Maya just did. But um, I suppose I can do the same thing if they find, you know, territories close to my border. So it doesn't matter. Aerostar unlocked again. Not sure what this does for me, but cool. I'm 
getting quite a few Aerostar unlocks, so I must be meeting some objectives or something that the game is throwing at me. Not sure. But I'll take it. So this seems to be where all my messages are queuing up, so I just gotta make sure I clear them if I can. Okay, so we're looking really good as far as our territory control. I noticed the slash lines turn into a solid gold line after a couple turns in. That's probably just showing that your outpost or your city has been developed enough to actually fill in the territory. So I really like to get over here on this side, but I'm not quite sure how to get over there yet. So I think it has to do with uh, unlocking Navy or selling. Awesome. So I'm in a new era now, so I get to choose a different civilization than the Egyptians. Um, and I'm thinking, looking through all the different ones, I can either stay as an Egyptian and transcend. But looking at the different options, Romans looks interesting, but I think I'm gonna go with the Greeks. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Hoplites. Oh, cool. And his uniform changes and everything for your avatar. So that's pretty cool. Maybe the Greeks will be able to uh, start building ships and stuff. Although the Romans could have done that too. So we're gonna continue to. Uh... This strange monument called Stonehenge. Most impressive. Though the nagging questions remain of why and how. All right, so I got a hundred points of, I guess that's fame, according to the left side, timing your transition. So I'm sure that's going to help me somehow, some way. And my territory continues to turn gold and um, continue to make people on my border mad, I guess. But. That is the objective. So now we're gonna see what else we can do now that we got all this controlled territory and how we can defend it. the people happy and do heed so the prophecy business as urban centers grow both ideas and sewage are generated at a record pace arts and sciences flourish as military tactics and mathematical equations become as coveted as physical goods empires struggle to control these intangibles however as some might trouble their stability New ideas lead to new strategies, and I'm sure the Greeks will spend time arguing the merits of them all. So I can see the buildings changing 
to like more of a Greek style versus Egyptian style. So that looks pretty cool. And it actually gives me the message that I'm in a new era now. So awesome. There are a lot of different civilizations to unlock here, guys. Mississippians, I never heard of that. Heard of the state. So I just I guess as we keep going through the story, these are things that are unlocked. Uh Greeks again. Interesting. So I guess there's some repeat unlocks too that you can do in the future. So yeah, I think we're at a good point now. We pretty much converted all the north. So I think we're going to stop here for now. And pick this up next time. Continuing to claim our, uh, our northern territories and building our defenses. So once again, I'd like to thank you for joining me on this video. And as always, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you on the next video.